Sarah, and this video is going to be about a mystery. So on the left, we have a picture of a water molecule with its classic shape, and it almost looks like it has mouse ears on it. And on the right, we have a carbon dioxide molecule with all the atoms in a straight line. And this video is going to explore why these two molecules have such different shapes. So first, we need to look back at the structure of an atom. So it has the protons and neutrons in the middle, and it has tiny negatively charged electrons flying around the outside. While the number of protons determines what kind of atom you have, the electrons are going to be the most important in chemical bonding. And specifically, the electrons that are farthest away from the nucleus are going to be the most important. So, in the case of water and carbon dioxide, we have covalent bonding, which is sharing electrons, so you can have a single bond with one pair of electrons that's shared, a double bond with two pairs, or a triple bond with three pairs. To help us keep track of all these bonds and all these electrons, we're going to use a simple diagram called a Lewis structure. It uses lines to represent bonds, and it uses dots to represent extra electrons that can get distributed as lone pairs. So for water, you have the oxygen single bonded to two hydrogens, and two extra lone pairs left over on the oxygen. For carbon dioxide, you have carbon double bonded to two oxygens. To go from these structures of bonds to the 3D shape, we need to remember that electrons are negatively charged and things with the same charge repel each other. This means all these places with electrons, called electron domains, are going to spread out as far as they can. So for water, you have four electron domains, you have the two bonds, and you have the two lone pairs around the oxygen. So the most they can spread out is to make a tetrahedral shape. And when you just look at the atoms without the lone pairs, you get the bent shape that we're used to. For carbon dioxide, though, you only have two electron domains. You only have the two bonds. So the farthest they can spread out is to be on opposite sides of the atom, and then you get a linear shape. So to summarize the key points, the available electrons form bonds to make the molecule the most stable possible, and all these electron domains in the most stable structure repel each other and spread out as much as they can. This is also called valence shell electron pair repulsion or VSEPR theory. Also check out the description for some cool links. Thank you for watching.